This is Hovey Smith, and in the next few minutes, I want to take you through the cleaning of a roadkill deer. If you have a deer showing up on your front lawn like this lady did, I want to tell you what to do about it. Well, the first thing, obviously, you get it off the lawn, you get it back to some place where you can hopefully hang it up, and then proceed to process it. Here I have a deer on the back of the truck, and we're going to get started on it. Now this is a roadkill deer. It's okay to eat. It's been cool. The carcass hasn't swollen, but it's a little banged up. You can see some mud on it, but that's okay. We're in good shape here. It's on the back of the truck, and we're going to start the initial cuts here. You can see that the stomach has not swelled. Now this is a buck, and so you do extract the penis and the scrotum and so on. Now I'm cutting off the foreleg. That leg was broken, so it's completely removed. You can see on the next shot where I work around a joint with a knife and remove that leg very efficiently. After we do that, then we go to the rear legs and we use a saw and we cut the bottom off and we skin them out. You can see the small knife I used. You can also see the tendon. That's important because that's what you actually use to hang the deer with. It doesn't take a tremendous knife to clean a deer. A knife like this will do just fine. So now we're ready to try to hoist it. It took me considerable effort to get that deer up. I couldn't quite lift it. It wasn't that it weighed so much, but the roof prevented me from actually hoisting it very much. Okay, we've got it up. We've got it on one leg, and now we can actually start with it. Now you can clean it horizontally if you like but it's better to clean it hanging. Okay, hanging up, ready to get started. So we're now the skinning process. We've got it about halfway skinned down the carcass at this stage. So we're making good progress with it. Time spent now about 40 minutes, I would say. All right, I'm showing you here uh, that the meat is still cool to the touch. Now this is the hematoma. This is where the deer was struck, mainly in the middle of the body. So you can expect some damage on the interior of the carcass here. This is bloodshot meat on the ham. And this is how you tell the difference between a deer that's been shot and a roadkill. It will bloodshot meat indicates roadkill. The hematoma is a large clot of blood right under the skin. You can expect the internal organs to be damaged underneath it. We're about to cut the head off here. We're going to use a saw. First you take a knife and you cut through the meat, and then you take a saw and you actually saw through the bone this way. So that gets your head off. You can see one of hound dogs back in the background there. She's getting very interested. Okay, we remove the head, and now we're taking off the shoulder. Uh, the shoulder is not attached bone to bone. It's attached by tendons and ligaments and muscles, so you can cut that one free. So that's the shoulder. That's the top of the shoulder. You can see good muscles in there. This is the bottom. Some people say that there's too little meat on the shoulder of a small deer to worry with. I vehemently disagree. I salvage this meat. Here we have the anus tied off with a string. We're going to pull that through the interior of the carcass. Tying it off keeps the fecal pellets out. You can see now a close-up of the bloodshot meat. It looks like it's been shot with a load of birdshot, and hence the name bloodshot. This is a close-up of the hematoma. Uh, smell at this point is not particularly bad. Uh, yes, there is a little bit, but not bad. Why did I leave the neck on? because I make a neck roast out of this, uh, like a pot roast with potatoes and carrots, and it turns out quite well. Now we're ready to open the carcass. You notice the knife I hold in my hand is not a huge knife, nor do you need it. Now I'm making the initial cuts. I've already done that. I'm pulling the flank meat back, and I'm cutting through the, the intestines loose, so we're making good progress here. Here I'm using a saw to cut through the sternum. So now the blood will start to come out of the front of the body cavity. So uh, there's a bucket underneath to catch it. I'm pulling the guts out now. 
Uh, you see the intestines, uh, part of the stomach, and a little bit more. You'll see some liver out to the side. The paunch is starting to come out now. So we're reaching inside the carcass and cutting and pulling and cutting around the diaphragm. Now we're getting into the lungs and heart area, and this is very nearly the last organs. I'm cutting the windpipe actually right now. So now all the organs have dropped. Open up the carcass. You can see the interior. This will be washed and cooled. And so we're now pretty well done so far as actual cleaning and gutting the deer. How does this compare to other creatures? Hogs have more fat on them. Now, this is a hog. You'll see more fat. Some of them have much more than this. Uh, this could also be a bear carcass, for that matter. They look very, very similar. Now, some things look a little strange, like this ostrich. Uh, you probably won't shoot an ostrich in your backyard unless you live in South Africa. But uh, these are cleaned uh, much the same way. I, this is my book, Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies a Pound. And that's what this is all about. This is about taking a deer and making decent food out of it. And this book tells you how to do that. It takes you through all the steps and the cooking and the cleaning and S50 recipes and so on. I also have other books, Practical Bow Fishing, telling you how to take fish with bow and arrow, how to consume them well, and we have another book, Crossbow Hunting. This is the most complete book on the crossbow and so far as its hunting is concerned. Uh, I don't have any competition in this market yet. All right. Backyard deer hunting can be had from almost any source. Amazon.com, AltaHouse.com. On my website, there's a link where you can order it. You can have your bookstore order it, so it's readily available. And you can also visit my website and get more information anytime.